What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we'll be drawing Jet the Hawk, the Sonic the Hedgehog. Let's get started in the center of our page with the top edge of the beak. So we're gonna step over towards the left side and draw a curve. I'm gonna draw this going up and then bend that down on the right. Now we're gonna curve up the beak. Let's start back on the left. We're gonna go out and then bend that up. Go over towards the right side and do the same thing. Going out and up. Let's round out the end of the beak. Starting back on the left, it's going to blend into a curve. Coming back around and then in. And then we'll curve the beak coming in and then down towards the center point. Let's start back on the left. Curve down and in. And then in the center, we're just going to bend that down. And then we'll tuck the chin in underneath the beak. We're going to start over on the left side. I'm just going to curve this down and in, just underneath the tip of the beak. And then we'll do the same thing over on the right side. Going out, and then up. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the eyes. We're going to start right in the center on top of the beak. And draw a short line going up the middle. And then we'll draw on the top of the eyelid. Starting back on the left, we'll curve up. And then we'll bend that out. Go over towards the right side, going up and out towards the same height. Let's round up the side of the eyes, coming down towards the top of the cheeks. Starting on the left, go straight down, and we'll just bend that in. Let's add the trim on the side of the eyes. Starting on the top left, we're going to step in, follow that same curve, coming down towards the bottom. And then we'll do that again, stepping in, all the way down towards the bottom. And then we'll fill that inner trim in black. Now we're going to move to the inside and tuck two ovals underneath the brow. Let's start on the left side, so we come down. Round up the bottom of the oval, and just pull that up. So line this up on the right, come down, round this out, and go out and up. And we'll draw a smaller half oval on the inside. Stepping in, all the way down, and then up. Let's add a small highlight circle on the left side of the pupil. Circle coming around, line this up on the right side, and we'll fill the inside of the pupil in black, going around that highlight. Let's add that thick brow above the eyes. Starting from the top left, we're going to step down, it's going to curve the brow going out and up. It's going to bend the brow coming in and then down to right about there. Just line this up on the right, going up and out, round up the brow, and then come in towards the side of the eyes. Now the goggles are going to sit on top of the head. Let's start on the top of the left brow. It's going to curve in, and then just pull that up. We're going to leave a gap in the center. Line this up on the right, come down, and then out. Now going back to the inside, we're going to draw a short angle line, going up and out on either side. Let's move to the side of the brow, draw a short angle line going up and out. And we'll connect the top and bottom with a slight curve. And go out and then bend that down. Let's draw the front edge of the goggle. We're going to start from the very top and follow that same curve. Coming down and then out. And then we'll connect the goggles with a strap. From the inside corner, we're going to step up, draw a curve, going up, and then down on the right. I'm going to step up and just draw that same curve. Let's add a trim along the bottom of the goggles. From the inside, we're going to step up, just follow that same curve, coming down, and then out in behind the brow. 
and then we'll fill that trim in black. Now we'll add two feathers on top of the head. Let's start from the left side. I'm gonna curl this up and then out. I'm just gonna pull this down in the opposite direction. We're gonna come down and then in. Let's add one more. Curving up and out. And down and in behind the goggle. And then we'll separate the tip of the feathers. Starting on the top, straight down with a short line. Angle up and out towards the right. And then we'll do the same thing on the right feather. Go down and go out. Let's add some more feathers in behind the head. We're gonna start on the right side, right beside the brow. We're gonna curve out and then down. Now from here, we're gonna draw a straight angle line, going up and in behind the head. Let's add two coming out from the side of the head. We're gonna start from the left side of the eye, curve out and then down. Let's line this up on the right, going out and then down. And we'll angle up and in behind the cheeks with a straight line. Let's add another one along the bottom. Starting from the left side, curve out and then down. And then we'll angle this up and in behind the chin. Let's separate the tips of the bottom four feathers. We're gonna start on the left, start with a straight line coming down, and then come straight in. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming straight down and pull that in. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on that feathered collar. We're gonna start right in the center, just underneath the beak. Start with a point. Now from here, I'm just gonna curve out and up towards the left, and then the right. And then from the top, we're gonna angle down and out with a short line. Now we're going to work our way up along the sides. Let's start back on the left, go up, and then just bend that in. And then from here, we're just going to curve out and then down. Let's pull that back up, going up and in just underneath the head. And we'll add one more feather, going out and down with a straight line. And we'll curve that up and in underneath the chin. Now we're gonna tuck the side of the body in underneath the collar. Let's start over on the left side, right here. Curl the body going out and then in. Go over towards the right, going out and in towards the same height. And then from the hips, we're gonna to move to the center and down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Now leaving a small gap in the center, let's go to the left, curve out and down. Now we'll round out the bottom of the ankles. Let's start on the inside, go down and then up on both sides. And then we'll move back up to the hips and draw on the outside of the leg. Let's start from the left and go out and then down. Now we're gonna fold the cuff around the ankles. Let's start from the bottom corner on the left, step up, curve out, and just pull that back in, almost like drawing a bracket. Let's go to the inside and go in the opposite direction. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And we'll fold the bottom of the cuff underneath. Let's start over on the left, curve out, down towards the bottom. I'm just gonna pull that up and in on the inside. And then the shoes will get tucked in underneath the cuff. Let's start on the left side, in, and then down towards the heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, curve the foot, coming down, and then up towards the toe. Let's go back to the left side and draw on the top of the foot. We we'll start from the toe, we're gonna curve up, and just bend that in underneath the cuff. Line this up on the right, going out, and then down. 
Let's add some detail to the shoes. We're gonna start by adding a thick sole on the bottom. You wanna take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. And then from the heel, we'll step up, start by curving down and then out. And then go straight out and then bend that down towards the sole. Let's add that pattern on the outside of the shoe. We start from the toe, curve up and in. And I'm just gonna hook that back up. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up and in, and then we'll bend that up. Now I just wanna taper that back towards the outside of the foot. Going down and then out, leaving a gap on the outside. And then we'll do that one more time. Going up and in and hook that up. And we'll taper that back towards the outside. And we'll follow the same curve of the foot going up and in underneath the cuff. Let's fill that outside area in black. Now we're gonna move back up and draw on the arm. Let's start halfway down the side of the body. So we start right here, curve the arm going out and down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right and do the same thing. Let's close off the top of the cuff, starting back on the left, going out and then up. And then we'll bend the arm coming up and in behind the collar. Go up and in. Now we're going to wrap a thick cuff around the wrist. Let's start from the left side. We're going to step up. So we curve out and then in. Almost like drawing a large bracket. Do the same thing on the right. And then we'll connect the outside to the inside of the cuff with a curve. We'll come down and then in. I'm also going to add a trim on the outside. Start from that outside corner, we'll step in, curve out, and then down. Let's draw the hands in underneath the cuff. We're gonna start from the bottom corner, we'll start with the thumb. Coming in, and then bending that out. At the end of the thumb, we'll add a bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming in and out with a half circle, and we'll close off the end. Let's add three fingers on either side. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna come down and up around that bracket. Step down, go out and up with the second finger. And then the third finger will start out here, curve out, up, and in behind the cuff. Now we're gonna go back up and draw two longer feathers coming in behind the body. Let's start from the top left, come down and in behind the arm, do the same thing on the right. And then we'll pull these feathers coming down underneath the arm. Let's start on the inside of the left arm, curve down and in towards the hip. And we'll angle that up and in behind the body. And then the last thing we're gonna do is add the tail in behind the legs. Let's start from the left hip, just gonna curve down around the hand and then out. Now from here, I'm just gonna pull this down and in behind the leg. Let's go to the inside of the right leg at the very top. Just gonna curve this down and over towards the left. And that's pretty much it. There's Jet the Hawk from Sonic the Hedgehog. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.